Welcome. Today we're going to talk about simplifying algebraic expressions with algebra tiles. First, I'm going to begin with my favorite metaphor for algebraic expressions, and that is produce that is on the conveyor belt to be checked out at the supermarket. So I'm putting all the stuff on the belt. And do you notice anything about this? How many piles do you think would be the nicest for me to put for the cashier? I would say three, right? I should have one pile for my apples, one for my bananas, and one for my carrots. This is a real good metaphor for algebraic expressions. Here I have three apples. I'm gonna represent that with three A. Two bananas could be represented with two B. And these are called terms, and we always put a plus or a minus sign between terms. One carrot, we're gonna represent with C. We don't write the one usually. It's like a invisible or silent E. Uh, it's the invisible one. Plus 2A, plus 4C, plus A, plus B. Okay, so there is all my produce. Now I want to simplify it. I'm going through with a highlighter and I recommend that you have at least three highlighters for this lesson. You can pause the video while you get them by pushing the space bar. And I'm going to highlight everything that's the same as my 3A. In other words, all my Apple terms will get highlighted the same color. So 3A plus 2A plus 1A for a grand total. How many A have I got? That's right, 6A plus 2B plus 1B. How many B do we have? 3B plus C plus 4C. How many carrots do we have? Plus 5C. All right. And so if I were to simplify this, if I were to group my produce together, I don't want one giant pile of apples, bananas, and carrots. I want three piles, one for apples, one for bananas, one for carrots. And the same goes for my algebraic expression. I don't want one giant, what would it be, 14 ABC. No, I want 6A plus 3B plus 5C as three separate groups. And these are called terms, and this is simplifying an algebraic expression. All right, we're gonna see the parallels with using algebra tiles. So let's represent 2X with an algebra tile, or two algebra tiles, plus four, that's four one tiles, unit tiles, plus 3X plus five. Now to simplify this, it's as easy as grouping the tiles together that belong together. So let's regroup them like so. And then we can read, what do we have? How many X tiles? Well, all together I see five X. And how many ones? I see nine. And so the answer would be five X plus nine. So why do we not jumble things together and say 14 because they're different kinds of things you can see by looking at them. Just like apples and bananas are different, my X tiles and my one tiles are different. Let's do one more example with algebra tiles. So I'm going to make tiles for an X squared plus 2X plus 3 plus another X squared plus X plus 2. And we want to regroup our tiles to put the ones that are like each other together. And just like the first metaphor, I can see that there are three kinds of tiles here. So I should have three groups. I have like this after I regroup it. So let's go through and say what we have. How many X squareds have we got? Two, two X squareds. How many X's? Three X. And how many ones? Five. And this would be our answer after we simplify this algebraic expression. All right, here's some practice ones for you. You can simplify a variable expression, otherwise known as an algebraic expression, by adding the like terms, the ones that have the same variable. 
So we're going to use the highlighter method now instead of using algebra tiles. So I'm going to highlight my A terms with one color, my B terms with another color, and my constants. Okay, so I ended up with, that's right, 11a plus 3b plus 6, or excuse me, minus 6. All right, here's one for you. Please simplify, and then we'll check your work in a moment. Okay, and so I see 8a plus 5a for a grand total of 13a, and negative 6b plus 5b. We're going to use our integer rules, different sign subtract, take the sign of the larger, we end up with negative 1b, otherwise known as just negative b. Please simplify this one. Okay, so we had 7b plus 4 minus 5b minus 12. So we can combine 7b and negative 5b equals 2b. And we have positive 4 and negative 12 equals negative 8. Please give this one a try. And so for negative 4m plus 6n minus 9m plus n, we have two terms with m, which can be combined. Negative 4 and negative 9 equals negative 13m. And then we have a positive 6n and a positive n for a grand total of 7n. Notice I'm just writing them in alphabetical order, L-M-N-O-P. All right, thank you for your attention.